was quite the score. A Minneapolis soccer team getting a game against the Uganda national team. I was really excited. It would have been a great experience. I told my family and they were happy for me. FC Minneapolis play in the UPSL. After Minnesota United and MLS, the Lions are the highest level of soccer in Minnesota. They scheduled the match nearly a year ago to be played at Mandela National Stadium in Uganda. There was a massive interest in the country to see an American team. It was supposed to be played today. Everything was on track until just a few weeks ago. You know, um, we had big promoters, you know, that picked up the game and agreed to fund it the whole way. You know, we signed all the memorandums. But over the past year, something had gotten in the way, their diversity. We are a very, you know, plural team. We have players from Iraq, players from Africa, players from Europe. Of the 30-some players on the squad, more than a dozen are immigrants. And unfortunately this year, you know, there have been a lot of shifting blocks that it became unsafe. Unsafe to travel outside the country, concerned that if they left, they might not be able to get back in even though they're here legally. Yes, yes, because with, uh, some of the players were coming from countries that have that travel ban, you know, so um, even though they do have a green card or something, it's, it's, it's very risky. What happens when we have a travel ban, it means that uh, for you, even if you do have a green card, you are safe in the United States. You will work in the United States, you will do whatever you want in the United States. But when you leave the country, uh, officials may, for discretion purposes, because immigration uh, cases are all discretion, for discretion purposes they may deny you entry. So in mid-February, just a month before the game was to be played, they decided they needed to postpone it indefinitely on the advice of their immigration attorneys. We, we had to make some very difficult decisions. You know, we really want to have the game, but the lives of our players are very important to us. <laughs> we all got our hearts broken. The travel ban issue and arguments over its legality will be taken up by the Supreme Court in April, with a ruling expected to be issued by the end of June. For those who might say a soccer game is a small price to pay for the sake of national security, well, I respect that. National security is a very important, you know, um, point to all of us, including myself. But I think there are other ways that we can ensure safety just because, you know, maybe we were not born here. I don't think that makes us dangerous in any way. And I, and I think the more people understand that, um, the more they will be more supportive towards encouraging the lawmakers to just make sure that they have empathy, you know, when they are coming up with these rushed decisions. Because different people, uh, different individuals get really hurt. Th this game would have been of a great, of a great opportunity for our city. And I think if we are living in a time where just a few decisions, you know, can prevent all this goodness from going on. I think we can do better. Yeah. David McCoy, WCCO 4 Sports.